the Bible embraces more unity than anything else. When we have unity of purpose, unity of direction, and when we are united in that prayer, God answers. The disciples, the Bible says the disciples were together in a common place and they were united both in their hearts and in their minds. They had a common issue. And because the presence of God enjoys unity, where there is unity, the Bible says God commands a blessing. Praise God. Hallelujah. So there are, there are blessings that are only attracted by the presence of unity. Meaning that kind of blessing always disappears in the absence of unity. And therefore we are united this morning as a church. I want to make a remark that this church is not very well known in this country as it is known in heaven. That must be clear. So because of our or because of the way we are known in heaven, heaven is waiting for us to pray. Because heaven never responds without an earthly request. There must be a man to pray for our God to answer. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have a duty this morning to pray for the families that have lost their loved ones and to Deception. They became a prey of deception in Kilifi at a place now known as Shakahola. We have to pray for them. Praise be to the living God. Hallelujah. There are many people that are wondering how come the government did not know. This has nothing to do with the government. It is a trap of the enemy against revival. And therefore the government has no capacity. It has no spiritual capacity to foresee and to interpret. There is no way the government could have known. Just like the government does not know how witches get out at night. It has no evidence whatsoever. We speak as if it doesn't occur. Somehow, in their conscience, they believe something like that might be happening, but they have never seen one. There comes a time when we must have Esther standing for the Jews. We must have that. That time for this church has come. To stand for genuine believers. We were not led by the Spirit before. God gathered us as the embassy of Christ on earth. We are led by the Spirit, and as many as are led by the Spirit, those are the sons of God. Now, what we are praying for is that uh, the wisdom may be given once again uh, to those in power to be able to see the trap. It's a religious and political trap. We we do not, in any form or any way, agree with whatever that happened in the coast. We totally disagree and we condemn in the strongest terms possible. But we do not agree at all with any attempt to stop the intention of God by making it appear like the church is doing something. When the wrong Muslims went to Garissa University, they shot everybody. They have been doing it in the coast. We have never said 
the mosque or Islam is against the country. We know those are criminals and they are extremists. Anywhere, even in a family, you can have somebody that goes beyond. And therefore, one man, one man that has done something wrong should be dealt with as such. There should be nothing like the church has done. The, what, what I know the church has done is to have a good government in place. That's all I know. That one you can attribute to the church. But the killing of the people. A lot of killing has been done. Last time we were praying for people who died during Mandamano because we discovered they were all from Kisi. Was that the church killing? Some people need to be silent. When Peter and the other apostles were arrested, people ran away from them not to be arrested because Herod the king with the Jews were against the church. The Bible says they had a section of the church put to death. But there is a particular section of the church that were wise. They gathered in a room. They said, even though we are running away, let, we have another weapon. Let us pray and God will release someone. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do we have any section of the church that knows that if we pray, the, the, the prison will open? Yeah. I tell people like that. Yeah. So if we pray, this intention of some politicians using particular churches, as I mentioned earlier, we did not see tomorrow Sunday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Today is Saturday, the 29th, isn't it? Today's 29th. The 29th of April, and tomorrow is Sunday. The intention of wrong politicians and some section of religion has been put to rest this morning in Jesus' name. It is over. We speak peace and comfort to every family that lost their loved ones. We speak peace to your family. Every family in Cliff and all over the country that lost their beloved ones into this deception. We speak a blessing over your life. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen.